Hey guys, this week we're gonna start talking about color. Now, I know in the past couple of projects you've done, you may or may not have used our colored pencils already, so this might be a little bit of a review. Or if you've taken painting one and done the color unit in painting, this will also be a review. So just hang tight with us, even if it's a bit of a review. Do your couple of worksheets we're gonna do, and then we're gonna really get into some deep colored pencil work. So in your sketchbooks that I sent you home with last week, you have a page that kind of looks like this. This is about as basic as a color theory worksheet can get. Um, you have your color wheel here labeled with your primary colors and your secondary colors and a new set of colors we're gonna talk about. So remember that your primary colors are red, yellow, and blue. When you mix two primary colors together, you get a secondary color. So red and yellow is orange, yellow and blue is green, Blue and red equals purple, or violet, we usually say. So that's that you should know already. This is this is common knowledge. Your primary colors you can list over here, just so you keep track of them. Um, it is important to remember which is which later on, because as you start mixing our tertiary colors, you're going to need to know which are primaries and which are secondaries. But just remember, anytime you have a color wheel, whether it's this one or one with 12 colors, the two colors on each side create the one next to it. So yellow and red create orange, again yellow and blue create green, and so on and so forth. So the new colors that we're gonna learn about today on this sheet are something called tertiary colors. On your paper, it's the little circles that are actually outside of the color wheel here. A tertiary color looks scary. You're like, whoa, there's more colors. Of course there are. But here, a tertiary color is only a mixture between a primary and a secondary. So if you think of primary being one, secondary being two, think of tertiary being third, okay, or three. So for the first one, I'm gonna mix red and orange together, and it's gonna be red-orange. I don't know what all colored pencils you took home with you. So you might have to do a little bit of mixing colored pencils. But Miss Boza, colored pencils don't mix like paint. Yeah, no joke. However, you can layer them, which is basically gonna be what your whole project's about. So if this doesn't look red orange-ish enough to you, go ahead and take your red colored pencil and just very lightly color over the orange until it's kind of a color in between. You may have taken home enough pencils with you that you already have all of these colors. Like I said, I'm not sure what you filled your bags with. So here I've got yellow, orange, I do want you to label them down below as well because the naming scheme becomes important also. So this one is red orange and this one is yellow orange. I know it looks a little bit more like macaroni and cheese, but it's yellow orange. When we name tertiary colors, you always name the primary first and then the secondary. So from here on, we can go to yellow green, blue green, blue violet, and red violet. All right, so go ahead and fill out this worksheet. You'll be turning this one in today.